I'm Mikkel. I'm Reggie. And I'm the woman with the world's largest hips. I'm the guy that loves these hips. I love you, too. Hmm. I measure 99 inches. That's eight feet around. I have a disorder called lipedema, and it's where the fat is gathered under the skin. In this case, it's in my hips. We've been married 12 unforgettable. <laughs> Amazing. Amazing. Miraculous. Miraculous. Years. She brightens up my life. She's the best thing that ever happened to me, aside from my kids, of course. We have three children together, and we have one son that Reggie helped me raise from about five years old. With every child came larger and larger hips. The noticeable change came with my son. My hips spread really wide. I gained about 50 pounds almost. As her curves grew, the more that my love grew. I always have my mom up and down the stairs, whatever she needs. Thank you. Getting into the car, just like, Mom, if you need my help, just let me know. Life gives you challenges, but I find a way to overcome the challenges. Strangers come up to me all the time and say, is it real, or, oh my god, how'd you get like that? So if you're not real... Man, I just never seen big hips like that. Just had to get a picture. Definitely posting this to my Instagram. I like Bootylicious, but that's way too much Bootylicious for me. My unique dimensions do pose some difficulties in terms of fitting into certain places. I cannot fit to a normal door going straight way in. To go down the hallway without brushing up against the heater, I'll turn to the side, and I'll kind of do a little shuffle past it. In order for me to get in the shower, I have to lift one leg in, hold my hands up on the, the bar, and lift my right leg in. I can't close the door, but I'm hip to wall. I do love hips, and because of Mikkel, I really love hips. Good morning, baby. Hey, sweetheart, how you doing? When I was in high school, I first locked eyes on Mikkel. It was love at first sight. Do I still captivate you? Absolutely. In my I'm like sexiness. having her. <laughs> I turned to a classmate, and I pointed to Mikkel, and I told her, hey, that's going to be my wife one day. He replied to me, hey, that's a big girl. And I told him, hey, I know that, but She's beautiful. Look at that smile. It just lights up the whole place. I love you, honey. I love you, too. The more she has, the more I have of her to love. Oh. Oh. Um, excuse me. It's <laughs> all like, and I'm like, uh-uh, uh-uh. My parents are always loving on each other. It's just disgusting. Oh, uh, there you go. <laughs> Did I make you horny? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm and there's like... There's sex life here? Are you telling me you have a sex life? <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. I think three kids tell it all. So sex is not a problem. It is not a problem sex. between me and her. If it was my choice, we have three times daily. I have a license to work with heavy equipment. I have developed a great side two-step. Left foot first right foot follow, one foot after the other, sideways. I live my life doing that a lot. Hello. Hi, how you doing today? Good, how are you? Pleasure. I'm Malik. Hi, Malik. Mikkel, nice Pleasure to meet you. Pleasure to meet you. What would you like today to get done? i like to get my eyebrows done. Have a seat right here. Oh, you know what? <laughs> Probably <laughs> wouldn't be the best for me. Okay. Chairs for me are a challenge. Do you have anything else more that can maybe accommodate all this loveliness? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yes. Think fast. In all my time in eight years, I've not had a client I was not able to fit in my chair. All right, diva room. <laughs> <laughs> it was a first. Thank you. Sure. And it's going to hold all this goodness, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> OK. But the chair, quite honestly, that holds me, that has to hold all this loveliness, needs to be good and sturdy. I don't want to end up on the floor. It's not going. I don't think it's going to work. An accommodating chair for me is something without arms, and that's very sturdy. Yeah, this is good. <laughs> I 
It's really nice to find a salon that can accommodate me. I didn't choose this body. I was given this body. And over time, I've learned to embrace it. One, two, three, go. Thank you, guys. Thank All you. right, honey, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> My family and I have this thing. It's called one, two, three, lift the hips. One, two, three, go. OK. People think that I am unhealthy, that I don't eat right at all, that I don't get around, that I don't exercise. OK, let me get my hip rocking. Every day I exercise with my girls. They teach me a latest dance step. Dip. Dip. Four. You know, we might just get up and move around and clown around. OK, I just saw it like this. Straight. Four. A. Come on and show me, girl. But many me did it. When I get into bed, I do what I call a Mikkel commando roll. I put my knee on the bed, and I'll roll into bed. And however I end up, usually, which is like kind of like this position, you know, <laughs> <laughs> that's how I go. They leave me there. I am finished. Commando done. <laughs> you see me with one shoulder, maybe an ankle, and the rest of my body is holding up against the wall to be in the bed. <laughs> <laughs> My unique dimensions do pose some difficulties. Things like when I have to shop, I love to wear a beautiful dress. I like to wear pants, but I have to accommodate for my hips. I'm a size 20 up here and a size 32 down here. They don't make clothes like that. Hello. What brings you in today? I am just hoping to find a wedding dress. Uh, the first thing I noticed when the bride walked in was her hips. I have no idea what to do with her. She's definitely a different bride. Her hips are significantly larger, so that is going to make shopping for her difficult. I'm hoping and praying one of these dresses will fit my hips. How's it looking back there? I'm working on it. OK. <laughs> I feel a little nervous. <sighs> Trying to work miracles. <laughs> oh my cow, that one's beautiful. Yes, yeah, it's like a lot of material. That's a lot of dress, and the back is not doing what it's supposed to do. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Don't have enough dress there. <sighs> I've never helped anybody with that size hips before, so it was a learning process. Wait, one, two, three. Ooh. I don't, I think I'm ready to go. It would be very hard to find anything to wear. 